This video has been funded in part by the Guild via Patreon. Check out the links in the description or at the end of this video for more details. Game provided by NIS America, dude! Hey dudes, my name is Chris Gildart, and welcome back to another Pros vs Cons mini review. I recently reviewed the remaster of the first printing game a little while ago, and I actually had some past experience with that because I played it on PSP back in the day. But I never found a copy of the sequel printing to Dawn of Operation Panties Dude, so I'm happy to say that thanks to NIS America providing a review copy of both games, I can finally see what the sequel does for this spin-off series. If you haven't seen the first video, check out the link in the iCard or down in the description. Now, what am I expecting from Printy 2? Well, some more find controls maybe? It's hard to say because I honestly didn't think a sequel would happen back in 2010. When I originally played Prinny Can I Really Be the Hero, I didn't get the feeling of a sequel from it, even though I do think it was a whole lot of fun. But I'm prepared for the fun, solid, and the inevitable rage quit inducing gameplay similar to the first. Alright, ready, set, pros. First off, I could be completely wrong here, but I feel like the visuals are ever so slightly more crisp than before. Sure, the remaster is going to upgrade the visuals from the 480p PSP quality to the 1080p Switch, but even jumping over from the remaster of the first game, the sequel has a bit more to its visuals than the first. I'm still unsure, but I thought I would mention it anyways. The solid gameplay is here with all of its mechanics. One notable addition to Prinny's arsenal is a kamikaze drop. With this, you can attack a multitude of enemies by dashing down from the sky. To use this, you must be in a rage type state. To get there, you must keep up your combo for long enough. It slowly goes down over time, but eventually you will get there. There's also these scarecrows laying around the stage that never break, and you can use these to increase your combo meter. One thing I do like just for some casual turn off your brain fun is a literal baby mode. In this mode, you get an additional hit, and there are baby blocks that are placed throughout the stage to help you with the harder platforming sections. When I really want to just sit down and relax, I can turn this mode on. And when I want to challenge, I can go back. This is the best of both worlds. As well, a lot of the new bosses are just as imaginative and challenging as the last. The story isn't too bad either and gives you an arguably better premise for why you're gathering these various items from different stages. The Phantom Thief, a master sleuth with a penchant for stealing rare items, has stolen Etna's panties. She is obviously very mad about the circumstances and tasks you, the Prinnies, with getting them back. Rumors have it that the Phantom Thief will strike the same place twice, but only twice. So you get the smart idea of gathering a bunch of different rare items to lure the Phantom Thief back to Entna's castle. This makes a lot more sense than just gathering a variety of ingredients for a dessert. There's also new enemies that act a little different to those that we saw in the first game. You'll mostly run into them as you go through, but you'll definitely notice some new faces. One thing I found extra interesting is that you will see some new faces that act like old ones. The first one I noticed were these skull slimes that jump up. It acts very similar to the apple-like creatures that you saw in the first game. And those guys are actually in this game too. And this leads to a more varied experience. Lastly, something that I never really look for in a game, but always appreciate seeing is a bestiary. As you go along, you'll unlock more enemies for your bestiary, and you'll get a little bit of info on them, including how much life they have. You can also get information on the bosses you've beat too. Pretty helpful overall. And would you look at the time? That's all we have for the pros. Now it's time for the wrath of the cons! So, um... This is pretty much exactly like the first game. Overall, this game feels like an expansion more than it does a sequel. This feels like one of those, if it's not broke, don't fix it mindsets. But from what we can see from the previous review, there's a few things that could have been taken back to the drawing board. The big one being the knockback after being hit by an enemy. It can really get you into some sticky situations. Even on baby mode, there were a few times that I've died because of the knockback. Also, your jump arcs are still very specific. You can't control yourself in mid-air. You can only choose your jump arc based on your momentum before you jump. That's pretty different from most modern platformers. And even with moving to the sequel right after the first, it's difficult to get used to. There's also still no indication that the stages will change and get more difficult or even less difficult as you go along. I personally know that now, coming from the first game, but if you decide to pick up only the second printing game, you might get hit by that sudden wall of difficulty. I don't know why you would buy this game and not the first, especially when both are available to you, but I digress. I don't know if I'm the only one with this thought as well, but some of the new voices are just not as good as the first game. It's pretty disappointing. The main bad guy, the Phantom Thief, is really poorly cast. I feel he should have a more regal and flamboyant voice than the normie-ass shit they gave him. I just stand out way too much. It's all because I'm so incredibly attractive. I think he could have been done much better. If I were trying, you would have been blown to smithereens. However, I let you defeat me so I could live graciously. 
there are others as well. I feel like the main printing you play as isn't giving it his all like we heard in the first game. I don't know if it's the same person, but you feel like a good chunk of the life isn't in the voice cast this time around. All in all, Pretty 2 Dawn of Operation Panties Dude is, for all intents and purposes, the same old, same old. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. There's still things that I'd like to see changed, the jump arcs, the knockback being the main offenders. I just wish that there was more energy and passion put into some of the voices in this cast. The first game felt like everyone really enjoyed playing their parts. In this game, some voices are really carrying the overall performance, while others feel like they're just reading the script. That being said, there is enough new here to make it feel like a decent experience. I'll be honest, if this was back in 2010 when this sequel first came out, I'd probably just give it a meh because not much has changed, and the average of the voice acting quality has decreased. But when you think about this as part of a package of two printing games, it's not all that bad. I just wish there was more updated, but in the end, I had a lot of fun and that's why Printing 2 Dawn of Operation Panties Dude gets a thumbs up from me. I'll definitely be coming back to play this one over the first because of baby mode alone. I completely understand, I am monkey brained at times, but I look for a nice relaxing time with my games. At least with baby mode turned on, I don't feel like I'm going to rage quit nearly as often. But if I want a challenge, I can turn it to normal or God forbid, the hardest difficulty. Anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching this review. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe for more. Why don't you also check out the review of the first printing game? It'll either be in the iCard or in the description. And let me know your thoughts on the printing games as well. If you'd like to help support the channel and what I do here, you can join the guild. Like these awesome people that you see on screen right now. You can join them at the end of every single video for just a dollar a month. There's other rewards and other tiers as well. So check out the links that you see on screen and I will see you all down in the comments.